This particular package consisted of a, a, a single skid uh, with three water-cooled air compressors which provided the main air. It also consisted of a separate air-cooled uh, air compressor which is an emergency black start air compressor should they have a platform-wide power failure that needed to operate. There was three separate dryer packages and there was, uh, unusually for us, there was a, a, water, a water cooling package to allow us to provide the cooling water and the cooling facilities for the main air compressors. There were lots of things in this project that uh, appear in other projects, but it was a fact that all of them uh, seemed to come together in this one project. There was, there was issues with seismic loading, there was wind loading, there was a location of the package on the exposed uh, part of the platform. There was weight issues that the customer particularly wanted us to keep the package light and at the same time put very onerous uh, seismic uh, loadings uh, in, into the mix. Very challenging indeed. The unit was very tricky to move out of the workshop. We had to jack it up onto skates and then we had to use our 12 tonne forklift truck to pull it out of the workshop so we could get it under the crane to be able to lift it onto the lorry. This is one of the biggest packages that we've done for the last uh, 20 odd years. It's roughly six metres wide by uh, 12 metres long, uh, weighing in at roughly 60 tonnes. The lifting gear was specially made to lift this package uh, with spreader beams so you don't crush the crate and uh, the package has actually been packed into a foil bag to protect the machine and uh, all the wood and the timber has all been treated. It was a large package because the, the air requirement, the, the customer wanted a quantity of air and that quantity of air needed uh, a certain size and range of machines to deliver that air. Uh, we designed it to be just under the six metres to allow it to be road transported. Uh, if we'd have made it another couple of hundred uh, centimetres larger, it would have been an issue getting it to the port. It's actually been taken up to Immingham by road, uh, on a police escorted load uh, and from Immingham uh, by sea to the, uh, to the Caspian Sea. And I believe it's actually going through a canal from the, between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. There were certainly uh, logistical issues with the, the canal freezing over, etc., and the season of the canal being open. We ended up with a package that the customer were, was uh, extremely pleased with. The performance exceeded their expectations. The build quality was far in excess of other vendors that the customers had been to. We delivered on time, on budget. Uh, it was a very successful project from start to finish and everyone was extremely happy.